Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hustle for Happiness podcast. I am your host, Mo Talib, a.k.a. Coach Mo, a.k.a. Toronto's motivational speaker, and hopefully the guy that you're watching. Today, I'm actually doing something super different. Hopefully, it's the beginning of a very long journey. It's my first video podcast that I'm recording, and I'm actually putting out through Spotify and Apple Podcasts as well on Apple Music. Now, I'm very nervous. It's my first time behind the camera speaking to you guys in a very long time. But one thing that I wanted to do was just be genuine with you guys and be very open and transparent. I've recorded this actual intro like 30 to 40 times now, and I think it's the final time. I said, fuck it. I'm just going to go ahead with it. I'm going to come to you guys as transparent as possible. And hopefully you guys, you know, you, you get a little bit of understanding of where I'm coming from. Now, today... Um, before I get into the topics of getting unstuck and, and developing that manifestation to where you want to be, I want to give you a little bit of background of who I am, right? So I am the author of Hustle for Happiness, A Decades Walk. I've been coaching for two years. I'm located in Toronto, and I've, n I'm not the type of coach that's gone and done courses and listened to ideologies and is coming to you guys and, and wants to preach to you. Absolutely not. No, I've lived through my trials and tribulations for the last decade and a half. I've been at the deepest of depression. I've been, um, you know, sailing the roughest of seas. I've been on, I've contemplated suicide twice, almost done it once, and I understand loss. So in the last decade and a half, I last decade and two or three years, I've dealt through it all. Now, why am I able to come to you guys today and talk to you about getting unstuck? Well, it's really easy. It's because I have been there. I'm there on a daily basis. And the one thing that allows me to continuously move and get up out of bed or get up and do the things that I don't want to do is my subconscious, my reason, my purpose. And then most importantly, my hustle to reality, my hustle to real, my real to hustle. Now, what do I mean by that? A lot of the times we get unstuck, we get stuck. Okay, let's just talk about getting stuck for now. The reason we get stuck is because in the last two or three years, we've dealt with a really shitty situation, which we called the pandemic. And that really put everybody at a halt for a very long time. And we never really saw, we never really saw anybody kind of get out of it until later. And right now, I think in 2024, we're finally seeing people kind of come out of their shell, shine bright again, get back into the habit of speaking to people, being out with individuals, and finally embracing the best version of themselves. Now, what has led to that, right? And there's, there's a few things, but if you feel like you're still getting stuck, if you really feel like right now in 2024, it's March of 2024 in the first quarter, you feel like you're still not where you want to be, you're still stagnant, you're not getting to what's going on, there's a few things that I want you to do, right? And part of the bottleneck that you, that you feel is actually your fault. Now, hear me out. Um... Some of the situations that you're dealing with or some of the situations that you're in is due to the fact that you're still complacent with the comfort that you have, right? We, when we're dealing with comfort, we don't like moving out of it because it's been the best place for us to be in. Why move out of the place that's offered us complacency? It's, it's comfort. It's comfortable. I don't want to move out of here. I'm happy. You know, it, it could be as small as sitting on a couch. Uh, your bed is your most comfortable place. You come back home and all you want to do is sit at home. You don't want to network. You don't want to talk to people. But you're still sitting and saying to yourself, well, I'm not where I want to be. I, You know, the money's not coming in like it should be. Well, what are you doing differently? If you're sitting at home laying down on your most comfortable couch or your bed or whatever corner that you have and you're not really doing anything, then don't expect anything to come to you. It's really easy. It's really, really, really simple and really easy. The equation is not hard, folks. The problem is a lot of us kind of victimize ourselves and place ourselves in a situation we don't want to be in because we're comfortable, because success requires sacrifice. And with sacrifice comes the idea of us doing things that we're not comfortable with. Now, how do we change that, right? And I speak about this in my book. And one of the things that I speak about is what's your current reality? Now, I'm going to read out just a little bit of, of, of the last page of hustle uh, of the hustle to real and real to hustle. It states, have you legitimately sat down and determined how you want to hustle your way out of it? It being your reality. Have you made a checklist? Have you stopped all the outside distractions from entering your life? Most people who say they want to 
they want to out hustle the reality into another one are only doing half the job. See, this isn't a time where you do things and stop midway. No, you must place quality into the work that you're doing so that you can advance and not double back. The work must be authentic. You must learn how to cope with the times. And if your hustle is real, you know it. Say it with your chest. Be very proud of the hustle that you're putting in. And if you fall back, that is fine. As long as you know you can continue on the road of your defined success. Nothing can bless you with the outcome you need other than the hard work you place into your life. Now, right now, I want you to kind of think about the times where you've been stuck and why you've been stuck. Is it because you've done the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again and expected a different result, which is absolute fucking insanity? Or is it because your exterior circumstances, your outside circumstances have been so overwhelming that they've kind of placed you into like this hermit of an individual where you just shut down? Okay, so if it if it's the second option and you just if it's the second option and you just shut down, why are you shutting down, right? It all comes from a rooted cause what's causing you to shut down what's causing you to not go out and just actually achieve what you want to achieve it all comes again from a place of comfort and the only way for you to get unstuck is to start changing your hustle and start believing in your reality now when i say start believing in your reality i start i want you to start actually accepting where you are Right. A lot of us think about where we want to be and we forget the fact that we need to accept where we are right now. The situation that we're dealing with right now or where we are right now, that's what we need to accept. Okay, today I didn't make any money. Today I didn't go to the gym. Today I didn't do this. Why? Because I was lazy. That's me accepting it. That's me acknowledging it. And that's me no longer avoiding it so that tomorrow when I wake up, I know that when I go through my checklist, The first thing that I do is I hold myself accountable. Now, ladies, if you're listening to this, you need to hold yourself accountable. And guys and my guys out there that are listening to this, you also need to hold yourself accountable as well. It goes for both sexes, the both genders. And that's the reality of it. If you're not where you want to be, it is because of you. Stop fucking victimizing yourself. You, the longer you victimize yourself, the, the longer you are in your place of comfort, the longer you are not getting to the success that you know you need to achieve. The only difference between you and the other guy or the other woman or the other girl that's actually getting to the success and to the money is that they're actually waking up and doing it. You got to power through the shit that you don't like. See, there's a lot of times I know, and I'm, and I'm a victim of this myself. Like, I hold myself 100% accountable. See, I'm just like you guys, and I'm reading it right now from a few people that I've tuned in, is that um, there's times where I don't want to go to the gym. Today, I'm fasting. I'm out of energy. I slept. I didn't want to go out. But I woke up, and I looked at my phone, and I realized I was spending way too much time scrolling than getting up and doing something about it. So I went to the gym and it wasn't for long. It was a 20 minute workout, but I went to the gym. I got up and I left. Why? Because part of being unstuck and, 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 and getting unstuck is remembering your purpose and your reason why. See, I have people that depend on me. And if you don't find a different reason, find a different purpose. You must have had someone in your life or something in your life or a being in your life of some sort that kind of was important to you that you can use as fuel for you to get up and get going. Now, when you do that, you not only feel refreshed, but your body starts adapting to a new being. And with you doing that is you again It's that hustle to real and real to hustle, right? You're hustling your way into the reality that you want and you're realizing your reality so that you can figure out what you need to get into the hustle that you want. So now all you're doing is actually changing your surroundings and your surroundings may be so much more vibrant, so a lot better with the different kind of words that are being uttered into the reality that you want. And now all you're doing is actually just filling your subconscious, right? Part of getting unstuck is actually filling your subconscious with the things that you know you need 
to hear when you're all alone. When you lay your head down on the pillow and there's nobody else around you and your girl might not be picking up the phone, your guys might not be picking up the phone, your other girls may not be picking up the phone. If you're a girl, of course, and you got girlfriends and you're sitting there all alone, you really don't have anybody but your subconscious to kind of help you through what you're dealing with. No one's coming to save you when you're unstuck, when you're stuck. And the only way to get unstuck is by feeding your subconscious and by feeding yourself again. So here's some things that I want you to do, right? The next time you feel like you're not where you want to be, I want, to, I want you to take a look Open your eyes. I want you to take a look at your surroundings. I want you to name a few things around you, first and foremost. Then I want you to ask yourself, why am I still here and not getting to what I need to get done? And then I want you to figure out what's actually stopping you, right? So the reason I'm not getting to where I got to get to go and whatever it is that I need to get done is I don't feel like it. So why am I not doing it? Well, because I'm lazy, because I'm fearful, because I got social anxiety. Half the time, we're psyching ourselves out of situations that would probably be a hundred times better for us, right? There's a lot of times where if you're five minutes late to a situation, you end up running into a friend of yours that you haven't seen in 15, 20 years or five years or whatever it is. And that's the situation that ends up working out for you. And that's exactly what I mean is getting unstuck, is getting out of the situation that you're in and hopefully into an opportunity that you know would work out for you. The other thing that I want you to do is the moment you feel like there's nothing for you to get done or, sorry, rather you don't know what to do, don't think it. Just do it. Literally, don't think, just do. Stop thinking. Stop fucking thinking. It's not good for you. Why should you go to the gym? What do you need to do? If I, what's going to happen? Is it gonna, it's gonna take me 30 minutes to get to the gym, one hour workout, 30 minutes to get back, 15, 20 minute shower. I need to make a protein shake. There goes four hours of my day. I could be more productive. No, stop fucking thinking. Just go do it. Do what you need to do and get it done. If you know you need to get in shape, Stop thinking about how and what and where and why and what if I do this and what if it's snowing outside and what if it's raining and how am I going to... Don't think, just do. And I say this to a lot of my friends out there and I say this to myself more importantly, especially when I'm looking in the mirror and I'm talking back to the reflection that I hold most accountable is don't think, just do. And that's the reality of the situation. You want to hustle your way out of where you are right now? Well... Stop thinking about it. I didn't realize getting on podcasts and speaking on situations would actually get me into a place where I need to drink so much water. <laughs> but, you know, again, and in developing this habit where you're getting up to, the, you know, getting up to the opportunity that will probably feed you in the long run is a good thing for you. And that's exactly what I mean by don't think, just do. The other part of getting unstuck that a lot of people don't think about is if you're stuck and you can't get out of your situation, that's okay too. I want you to be a little bit merciful on yourself, to yourself, most importantly, right? If today you didn't get to what you needed to get done, there's always tomorrow. And if tomorrow you didn't, there's always the next day. But with that being said, I want you to hold yourself always accountable to the situations that you're in, right? Whether it's um, feeling like you're stuck in a, situ in, in a situation with one of your friends, feeling like you're stagnant in a relationship, feeling like your marriage is not working out because the most successful part is no longer there or you don't know how to get to the successful part, feeling like uh, your work whether you work in a corporation or you have your own business and you feel like, I don't know how to get to the next step. I am so stuck where I'm at. I don't know how to get unstuck from the situation that I'm at. I don't know how to get out of it. The reality is, is that you need to start acknowledging your reality, right? You got to start telling yourself, well, this is where I'm at and this is why. I haven't done anything to kind of change the hustle or change my ways of being creative and finding new solutions for new situations. What do I do now to better help me? Okay, 
So that's one. The other thing that I want you guys to also figure out and also keep in mind is what's going to, you know, rather what, sorry, let me, let me rephrase that. Who's around me that I can speak to that's going to help me get unstuck, right? So sometimes we have friends and family that allow us to come to them in situations where we can find a little bit of advice from, right? Sometimes we don't feel comfortable telling everybody our situation. And if you don't have those close four or five friends, it's always good to have a therapist or a coach like me that you can come to that can really psych you into the situation that you want to be in. Um, and, and that's the reality of things. And sometimes, um, you know, I say this to a lot of my friends is that you got to have, if you have five close individuals in your life, you got to know that for a person, a, you can't go to about relationship stuff. For example, person B, you can only go to about money situations. Person C, you can only go to about, um, how to deal with family members and person D and so on and so forth. You know, it's, it's always good to allocate different conversations to those who understand you the most in order for you to get what you need. And it's not, it's not a selfish thing to do, re- truly. If you have a healthy surrounding and you're, those that are around you are healthy individuals, then your subconscious will be healthy as well. And then you'll slowly become one of those individuals, right? It's always, tell me who your friends are, I'll tell you who you will be. And that's something my mother always said, God bless her heart. So... When you're able to come to these individuals about the situations that you're dealing with, you're able to actually speak to them about and get insights about how you can deal with different things. And, you know, and if you don't think that's true, there's a reason there's millionaires and billionaires and thousandaires and people who are absolutely broke out there. Because some people found ways to make things happen in certain fields and their mentalities worked for them in certain ways and their methods and their processes and ideologies also worked for them as well. What you also need to understand is getting part of getting unstuck is you being a student of life. You have to develop, you have to figure out something that works out for your favor. Your creativity needs to kick in, right? And if you're just sitting there and saying, I don't know, I'm always in the same fucking situation. Nothing's changing for me. How do I do this? How do I risk it? Well, the reality is we don't know. We don't know the outcomes of the situations we're in until we're in the situation. And then we see the outcome. And this is part of risk. And I speak about that in the hustle for happiness. You have to take the risk. And I say this to my parents all the time. I don't know. I don't know where I'll end up, but I know where I'm at now. I don't care where I've been, but I know where I'm at now. And that for me is understanding that if I want to get unstuck for tomorrow, I need to be unstuck today. I need to get out of the situation I'm in today. And that's only by communicating, comprehension, being accountable, not avoiding, acknowledgement. It seems like a lot of fucking work that you got to put in, right? Like a lot of work. A lot of work. And this is all like free content I'm giving to you guys, whether you're watching it on YouTube, whether you're watching it on the gram, whether you're watching it on TikTok, on any social media platform, or you're listening listening to this on Spotify and Apple Podcasts on your way on a road trip or on the way to work. The reality is no one can get you unstuck but yourself. And I speak about this. It's like manifesting and not putting in the fucking work. What are you manifesting for? God to come help you and you not do anything about it? Let's be real, folks. Let's be real. You can manifest all you want. You can have all the vision boards that you want. You can sit there and pray to anything and everything you believe in. Get crystals, have baths, go to uh, meditation classes. But if you, yourself, are not aligned with the fact that in order for you to manifest getting unstuck... You need to hustle getting unstuck. That's what it is. Simple as that. And again, it's it's so much work. But along the process, you're allowed to feel stuck. You're allowed to feel what you're feeling right now. But at the same time, you're not allowed to stay where you are. You weren't born to be normal. You weren't born to be complacent. You weren't born to be stagnant 
And if you're listening to this and agreeing with me, you're one of those individuals. And if you're not and you're okay where you are, that's okay too. No problem. Allow the success to make its, to make its way into somebody else's life. But you can't sit there and feel sorry for yourself and dwell in your stuckness and not do anything about it. And then say, why is my life like this? You're not allowed to do that because there are other individuals that want to go out there and get things done that are probably in your life that want to help you out. And you're just not willing to open up that door to that opportunity that comes knocking for you. So ask yourself, when you look in the mirror one more time, why am I unstuck? Why is my reality the way it is? Am I hustling to change my reality? Is my reality right now, am I realizing my reality so that I can figure out what I need to do to hustle my way out of it? Ladies and gentlemen, you have but one life to live. And I can speak to you guys about getting unstuck for the next year. Because just like you, I am human. Just like you, I am human. But with getting unstuck, with developing for yourself you will end up walking into the success that you want and that would be the reward you give yourself and with that ladies and gentlemen i want to end this podcast i'm 21 minutes in but thank you so much for tuning in for the first video of the hustle for happiness podcast i am your coach uh mo talib aka toronto's uh, motivational speaker Hopefully you're listening to this and watching this. And if you see any benefit in listening to this and watching this, send this to a friend that you know would need the little bit of of advice. Don't forget to purchase my book. It is available on Amazon Prime Worldwide, The Hustle for Happiness, A Decade's Walk. And always tune in. Don't forget to hit the follow and subscribe button. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time.